Alright, welcome back to the cradle. And we are advancing. We are fighting a wall too front, but we still managed to go forward. Yes, definitely not the Someone pointed out that he, that did. Um, Shoulders did have his um, kind of uh, state capital in there, which has been destroyed. So hopefully now we're really messing him up. I'd love to construct stuff, but I'm still short on metal. Everyone's moved and attack. Who can move and attack this turn? They're POTUS, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, we got POTUS marshes. marshes. That, that can't be a random thing, can it? The POTUS marshes drain the swamp. I got your joke. I got it. Yeah, so we're going to have to keep grinding on. Hopefully we won't take too many losses. The quicker we can bring charges under control, the quicker I can free up an entire regiment of troops. Still looking for the, some fuel. Did, was there no... The thing is, fuel is going to be rare, isn't it? It depends on what we're using. Yeah, if we're using fossil fuels, then... This place won't have many. Yeah, he lost some, I lost some. That metal mine is much the most important thing I managed to capture. Getting to the point we haven't got enough troops on the southern flank to actually do anything. But they haven't got enough troops to really push back. It's fine, I'm happy to have that war as a holding operation for now. They are going to retreat and give me space now, I will take it. There you go, that's being a bit cheeky, I need to go stop him. That doesn't own a regime, it still worries me. Well, what are you going to do? I know the uh, Rockians are huge. Well, yeah. Not really much can do. This has been land rich, mineral, like resource poor this game. We are finally getting towards the inside of the cradle, however. They must be doing some fighting. Yeah, they're definitely moving troops around. Hopefully they're not getting ready to assault, like, because if they assault near Salzburg, I'm done. Probably throw a battalion up, but only turn after they start invading. Yeah, 
Emerging from the militia, there are only 2 of them left. 200 left, I'm going to attack you. I'm pretty sure I can overwhelm 200. I assume, yeah. Because I've got radio militia. I got confused. I thought, am I reading that the wrong way around? But no, no, it's my guys. Alright, a day today is the fastest. Continues. Hey, we said she's high. Yay. Yeah. Personal guard, great speech. Paranoia. Yeah. Not many of them I feel like they need to use. And ammunition is rock bottom. That was excellent. Right, first things first, do the decisions. Understood. National budgets are fine. You're fine. Access to office to an ancient site. Private sector industrial sites, sole access, and suspect valuable knowledge. I want to drop it. Everyone should be allowed to visit. There we go. Because that limits my... Yeah, I just put democracy above everyone else. That's fine. We can hire a Merc. Yes, sir. Roger that, sir. Here we go. Alright. So why do you guys spend all your political points? First up, trade for fuel. Any time I'm not buying all the fuel is a wasted turn. And then workshop. Maybe about Four tons of ammunition. Recon buggy. Oh, Kelvin's Glacier is looking a little bit undefended. I'm going to have to move some guys to protect my flanks as I do this. We nearly the coast. Wow. So it's mostly anti tank guns. Well, like infantry battalion. My recon is terrible. Yeah. Oh, yes, I need to move someone to stop here. Maybe it's just a militia unit. You've actually given up the military liner. That's interesting. Also, what were you fighting these so much anti tank? If you're going to continue to give me an opportunity to advance, I'm going to take it by the way. And pop in it there to stop. Those guys need a load more troops to make them back up to a core level. Supplies are getting through, that's good. Let's continue to push onto Neil. It's the Glacier then. View. North.
Recon buggy can punch through to here. Childress. Unrest is dropping. Alright, I think I can move the troops out of here now. No, he apparently... I'm going to disbelieve that. Because they've been cut off for such a long time. There we go. Yeah, right, it's attacking those guys. Not until this new infantry division's up. He's going to need some artillery, so... But we can't afford artillery, because we just need to spend up huge amounts of points on um, yeah, other things. Right, up here... The race to expand continues. Here, yeah, I was going to attack. Because I know there's only 200 of them left. There we go. That brings them into my front. There's only a few of them left after all that fighting now. Excellent. What is my mince to just drain anyway? Thirty percent, ouch. Definitely something to do something about that. Eight percent, twelve percent, four percent. So if I I was going to put the communist trees into this zone. Would that help? I really don't want to split if I can help. When I split in the other game it caused me nothing but trouble. Alright, let's do the turn and see what happens. Have the colonies to start a new city. I just don't have the materials. Oh, I should also increase the new con conquered city. Oh, on. I'll do that next time. That's probably where a lot of it's coming. You gonna just gonna do anything? Anything at all? That's a nice big opening we've created around Kelvin's later. I would expect the lack of us like HQ unit and stuff like that's gonna really start hurting them in the next few turns. I feel confident we can win this war now. 
And then we'll swing south and take out the Nassau. I feel like we've crossed that, that line now. You know, the trench warfare's over. This is bloody, but continuous advances. If NASA would accept peace, I'm just thinking that you know, in a lot of other games, you can like you're at war until you know, yeah, you fight a war, you stop, you you, know, you rebuild and like that. You know, often rare that you're a continuous war for centuries, but this is much more total war, like um, not like the computer game, but like. World War Two style, you know, you were at war, you were at war until the enemies have collapsed. But I may actually see if that's how I want to peace. Taking a good amount of land off them. Just gonna run into that unknown regime and they're gonna be massive, aren't they? And hostile. We need to drop a lot more spies into um our cell, like. These turns are basically my thinking time. And then I forget we we're actually getting to the turn, I don't know if you noticed that. But yeah, I'm just sitting here thinking of what I should be doing. 